ladies and gentlemen of the Congress, I appear before you today, the elected representatives of the sovereign people, not as president of one party, but as president of the entire nation. It is in this spirit that I now come before you, for in administering the affairs of this nation, you and I share the common responsibility of providing the leadership, the guidance, and the service that the democratic government owes to the people. You and I must provide for the enjoyment of those basic requisite for decent living and of those adequate opportunities for the attainment of material prosperity and my spiritual fulfillment. Only thus will they be able to stand in dignity and freedom in the common of nations. The eyes of the world are focused on us, conscious to see how this new government will face the difficulties confronting it. Our performance will be judged not only by our own people, but also by the other nations of the world. Not only by the present, but also by prosperity. Because of the impaling and serious problems facing the country today, I should like to depart from the traditional practice of my illustrious predecessors of delivering an all-embracing state of the nation message. In the interest of priority of purpose, therefore, I bid leave to submit for the consideration of this Congress only the most paramount problems of the nation which, in my considered opinion, require immediate and preferential attention. Thank you.